Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Well, here it is, folks. The moment you've all been waiting for, I hope. The debut of my new KitchenAid. Isn't she beautiful? She's the cowgirl. Anyway, what I'm going to make today is I'm going to try a new recipe for raisin bread. And what it calls for is oatmeal, raisins, yeast, maple syrup, or any kind of table syrup you want to use, molasses, sorghum, whatever, lard or sunflower oil, flour, and I forgot the salt, didn't I? Let's just put the salt right in the bowl there. Some boiling water and three quarters of a cup of warm water. There's our three quarters of a cup of warm water. Now, what I liked about this recipe is it called for uh, oatmeal. Now, first off, what we're going to do is we're going to take... Oh, now, I've, I've had to write this down because it's a new recipe. Uh, one cup of raisins and a half a cup of oatmeal. All right, so let's put our one cup of raisins in there. Whoops, probably a little more than a cup. All righty, let's do that. And I like, I couldn't get steel cut oats, and I couldn't get um, uh, old fashioned oats, so I had to, you know, go with the large flake oats. I don't, I don't buy oats if they can be cooked in under five minutes. How much do I need of the oatmeal? Half a cup, there we go. Now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take this, and we're gonna put it right in our mixing bowl. And we're going to pour over it three quarters of a cup of boiling water. We just want, oh, I gotta do this at least once. We just want, <laughs> the table doesn't shake. We just want that stuff to soak up some of the boiling water, okay? So, now what we're going to do, let's put some of this stuff away. We don't need the oats and we don't need that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, the other three quarter cups of, three quarters of a cup of warm water and we're going to put it in a table. We're going to dissolve, dissolve a pat, one package or a tablespoon of yeast. Let's just take the handle there and give that a stir. Now, we need three and a half to four cups of flour, two tablespoons of lard or sunflower oil. All right, so let's put our two tablespoons of lard or sunflower oil in there. Uh, that's about two tablespoons. Our salt is in there. And they're going to say, they say a quarter cup of maple syrup. I'm going to do closer to a half. Yeah, I'm going to do closer to a half. And this is, this particularly is real maple syrup, folks. So we don't want to waste one golden beautiful drop of that. All right. Now we're going to put it on the lowest setting just to stir. I need another measuring cup. Oh, I think I have one in here. Now what I wanted to share with you guys is this is my flour that I oven that I oven can. And when it came out of the jar, it came out in big clumps because obviously there was some moisture in there. So I had to kind of break it up with my hands. But, but it's still really, once it's broken up, let me see if I can find a clump in here, because I broke it up pretty good. But it came up in big clumps. I mean, I actually went into the jar with a steak knife and broke it up to be able to get it out. But once it's busted up, it's, it's fine. So, three of these, this is, a, this is a third of a cup measure. 
So I have to do my counting. I'm going to need 12 of these. 12 of these makes 4 cups. So 11 to 12 of these. And this flower is still kind of clumpy, so in spots. So I'm going to start mixing in. There's one third of a cup. And here's another third of a cup. If I see any lumps, I will do my best to, mix, to break them up. I guess it would work if I sifted it, eh? Okay, so here's one cup mixed in. Now what we're going to do, it says, uh, dissolve yeast in the warm water, add the rest of the warm water to raisins, and then beat. So let's get our yeast water in there. Now we're going to turn it up a notch. Now I wouldn't, this is a bread, I should have used my, my dough hook, but you know what? Stop this for a second. Uh, I should have used my dough hook, but it's more of a beater thing to begin with. So, all right, so that's one cup of flour. And we're just going to start mixing our flour in. Okay, so that's four, five, six. It's getting nice and thick, so I'm going to turn it up. Whoops. No, we don't want it. We don't want it too fast. Seven. I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna have to invest in some of these. Because they actually do pretty good. Eight. Nine. I might actually change this over to a, the dough hook. Let's put our dough hook on here. Did I get it on there right? Yep. Let's put that down in there and see what it does. Whoops. Oh, that's doing pretty good. So it says to knead this for 8 to 10 minutes. So I'm just going to let that do its thing. And I'm going to clean up. And we'll be back in a few minutes. Oh. I didn't lock her down. There she goes. Always, always, always remember, lock it down. Alrighty, folks. Now, this is just about finished kneading. But what I, I forgot is this recipe does not call for cinnamon. I don't know anybody who doesn't like cinnamon in the raisin bread. So I'm just going to add a teaspoon. Okay, we're going to unlock it and bring it up. That kneaded that really nicely. I probably could have left this right in here to rise, couldn't I? Well, well, we've got it now put in our butter bowl. Thank you so much, pretty cowgirl. And uh, we're going to put this to rise. Okay, so let's just put a tablecloth over that, and we'll be back later. I have a mess to clean up. Okay, folks, let's check on our raisin bread. Oh, that's just about doubled in size. So I'm punching it down. It didn't rise as much as I expected it to. Now, this is the butter, the bowl has been buttered. So my bread dough is kind of buttery. So I'm just going to give this a knead. And I'm going to roll it up. And press it into the pan. Howie doesn't like raisin bread, so this will mean more for me. I love raisin bread with a cup of tea on a cold morning. Lovely. All right, let's uh, put this to rise, and we'll be back later. And as for as for the cowgirl, she gets ten thumbs up if I was all thumbs. Okay, supper's out of the oven. So yeah, I'd say that's doubled in bulk. Let's put this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes and see what we get. All right, dinner's over. And our raisin bread is out of the oven. This is a new recipe, by the way, folks. So I've never... What's still nice and warm? 
Mmm, it smells delicious. It smells really delicious. And I can't have Wolfie try it because, folks, he doesn't like raisin bread. Oh, it's so moist. A little bit of butter. Mmm. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, Meet the cowgirl.